boys and girls. It's good to see all of you. Welcome to another online um, Sunday school lesson. And as always, it's good to see all of you. I hope all of you are doing well at home. If you are, if you can see me, please wave your hand. Hi. Hi, Joshua. Hi, Angel. Hi, Mercy. And as always, let's begin with a word of prayer. Let us pray. And when we are praying, what do we do? When we are praying, we put our hands together and then we sing the song. We are praying, we are praying. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Put your hands together, put your hands together. Let us pray, let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day that you've given unto us. We thank you for the gift of life. As we start learning about your word, may you help us to always remember that your word is our food. We thank you for our parents. We thank you for everything that you have given to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome again. Um, and now I want us to just remind ourselves, what did we learn last week? Who can remember what did we learn about last week? Anyone? Anyone? If you remember what you learned last week, please tell your mom what we learned. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So last week we learned about the blood of Jesus. We learned that the blood of Jesus, it cleans us our whole body. It cleans our whole body. Just like the way we wash our hands when our hands are dirty, we learned that the blood of Jesus now comes and cleanses us. And then we learned a new word, which is sanitize, which we've been using since the COVID. We've been sanitizing our hands. So, yes, always remember that Jesus died on the cross to wash us away our sins, okay? Say with me, Jesus died on the cross to wash away our sins. Again, Jesus died on the cross to wash away our sins. And now we are going to praise God with a song. And you know what? A lot of things have changed. There's so much that has changed. Maybe for most of us, we haven't gone to school for three months since March. And now we are almost opening school. So a lot of things have changed. We haven't seen our friends for a long time. We haven't gone to school. We don't play with our friends the way we used to. But I want to remind us that God never changes. So we are going to remind ourselves a song that we learned for VBS last year that many things change, but God never changes. So let's stand up together and dance. Coming your way, cause like you are not, cause he's the same. So hold on tight and follow real close. God is good and he's in control. Clap your hands like this.
Well done, boys and girls. That was an amazing reminder that even when things change, the Lord our God never changes. Wow, that was nice. I, I hope all of you danced at home together with your parents, together with your mom and dad and your sisters because you know what? Many things might change, but God never changes. And now we want to learn our lesson for the day. And before we go to the lesson of our day, I want you to tell me what is this? Do you see this? What is it? Oh, it's grapes. Okay. We eat grapes to be healthy. Okay. How about this? Aha, it's an apple. Okay. And how about this? Lemon. When we have a cold, we normally get lemon okay and now I want to show you this I know many of us don't like this mboga right how many love mboga I never used to love mboga I never used to like mboga but you know what they are healthy they give us a lot of vitamins and a lot of very very many good things uh-huh and this it's a carrot i love carrots they are nice i feel like munching it do you uh-huh and this one of my favorites it's a tangerine right so i've showed you so many many types of fruits and vegetables what do they help us to do they make our bones strong they make our skin healthy. They make us not to get cold. And I know during this time, mommy and daddy have been telling you to eat a lot of mboga, a lot of carrots, a lot of orange juice, a lot of tangerine, so that you may be strong. And just like the way our body needs all these fruits and vegetables and other kinds of food we also as christians need need what the word of god what is this what is this it's the bible it's the bible show me your bible everybody lift up your bible aha uh -huh. those who don't have a bible please remember to tell mommy or daddy to buy you a Bible. And there's a difference between this, which is the Bible, and this, which is a Bible story. This is a Bible story. It has stories about the Bible. Like one of my favorite stories is Daniel. You'll find Daniel's story here. And another favorite story of mine is Noah and the ark. But this, contains the word of God. It has the word of God. It's not a story. It's the word of God as it is. And why do we read the Bible? I know we read storybooks to learn more, to know more, but we read the Bible so that we can know what God wants to tell us in our lives. For example, when we read the word of God, it says you should love one another. You can only find that in the Bible. Or last week, we learned that, you know, Jesus Christ died on the cross to save our sins. You can only get that from the Bible. So we need to learn about the Bible. It helps us to know what God wants in our lives. It actually encourages us when we are sick when we are feeling tired or like this time, I know we haven't seen our friends for such a long time. And you know what? The Bible tells us not to be discouraged or not to feel sad or not to feel mad when someone, when uh, another girl probably doesn't give you her pencil or when your brother or sister tells you that, you know, you're not doing the right thing. So. Today, I want us to learn the word of God 
from. So I want us to open our Bibles. If you have your Bible, please tell mommy to open or daddy to open for you from the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms, please tell mommy to open for you Psalms 119. And verse 11. Psalms 119. And verse 11. And I will read. It says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And I repeat, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. This was written by David. You remember David? You remember David who loved God with all his heart? He wrote this in the book of Psalms because you know what? The Bible was written by people who were spoken to by God to write what God wants us to hear. So David wrote that he has hidden his word, his word, God's word in his heart that he might not sin against God. And it's the same thing for us. When the Bible tells us to love one another and we do it, it means that we are keeping the word of God in our hearts so that we don't do wrong things. When the Bible tells us to honor or respect our mommies and daddies, it means that when we read the Bible, we know that we are not supposed to, to, we are not supposed to do what? Yes, we are not supposed to annoy mom and daddy, we are supposed to respect them, okay? So the Bible helps us to know what God wants in our lives. And you know what? God tells us that he loves us from the Bible. He tells us do not be afraid from the Bible. He tells us to love one another from the Bible. He tells us to obey our parents from the Bible. He tells us that our sins are forgiven from the Bible. So just like the way we eat these kinds of food every day, every day we eat these kinds of fruits, these kinds of fruits, we have to read the Bible every day because it is our spiritual food, okay? It is our spiritual food. And when we read the Bible, we know what God wants to do in our lives. We know that we are supposed to follow him by reading the Bible. We have learned that we need the word of God in our hearts. And we have learned that David said, that he's going to hide the word of God. And hiding means reading it every day in his heart so that he doesn't sin against God. And for our craft today, we shall need the following. We are going to make a lovely heart shape. So we will need a piece of paper. Okay, tell mommy to get you a piece of paper and a pencil. Uh-huh. And we are going to need some lovely colors. Who likes coloring? I love my craft to be beautiful. And if you have stickers at home, the same thing. And we are going to need a pair of scissors. Please, please tell mommy to help you to cut it. We're going to need a pair of scissors. And we are going to need a ribbon or a small string because we are making a heart a heart necklace, a heart necklace. So we are going to draw a lovely heart. Do you need to come closer or you don't? You're going to zoom in it. Okay. So we are going to draw a lovely heart shape, a lovely big heart shape because remember we have said in Psalms, 119 verse 11. What did David say? 
What did David say? That he has hidden the word of God in his heart. So we are drawing a heart. There is my heart. There is my heart. Okay. And then we are going to use a pair of scissors to cut out the heart. So we're going to cut slowly, tell mommy to help you or your big brother or daddy. We're going to cut out our heart because I want to have a beautiful heart, heart to hang on my neck as a reminder that I'm going to be reading the word of God every day because what have we said? The word of God is our food. Just like the way we eat food every day, we need the word of God every day. So please be telling mommy or daddy to be reading for you if you don't know how to read the word of God or your big brother. Like the way you read a storybook. I know most of you read storybooks every day. You need to read the Bible every day. And there we go. I've just cut my heart shape and it looks beautiful. It's nice. So I've cut my heart shape, here we go. Heart shape and then I am going to need a tiny hole so that I can put my ribbon. So please mommy, tell mommy to make a hole so that you can hang your ribbon. But you see, what is this? It doesn't have anything. It's just a heart, right? So what are we going to do? We are going to write down the memory verse here, inside. You can do this. You can take a piece of paper like this. And then you stick it and write the memory verse. You can tell mommy to write a memory verse for you. Or... You can write the memory verse inside the heart. Remember David said that he's hiding the word of God in his heart. So we are going to write the word of God, the memory verse in our hearts. And you can take a colored pen. Uh, which one do I choose? Help me to choose green, yellow. Mm, I love brown. I think it's going to match all green. Okay. So let me open the word. Where did we say we read it from? We took it from Psalms 119. Psalms 119 and verse 11. And what does it say? It says that I have hidden your word in my heart. So we write Psalms 119 and verse 11. And what does it say? I have, please tell mommy to write for you, hidden the word of God in my heart that I might not sin against you. But we're going to write just that, that I have hidden the word of God in my heart. Look at mine. Can you show me yours? Can you show me yours? Psalms 119 verse 11. I have hidden the word of God in my heart. Meaning that I'm going to be reading the Bible every day so that I can store it in my heart. And I want to make a beautiful, I want to put a string on it so that then I can go and show my friends and my brother and my sisters that I have hidden the word of God in my heart. So I'm going to make a small hole here. 
Okay. There we go. And I'm going to put the ribbon or a string and I will tie the ribbon like this and there we go. I have my necklace. I have my necklace. Show me yours. Look at my necklace. It's a heart necklace and it says, I have hidden the word of God in my heart that I might not sin against God. I have hidden the word of God in my heart. Wow, let me see your craft. When you're done, please take a photo and tell mommy to take a photo of your craft and send it to me. I want it, I want to see your beautiful craft. And you know what? You can add some decorations to your craft. I, I got a little stickers here. You can color. So I'm going to put red there. And I'm going to put a cross in my heart to just show you a lovely cross. I'm going to decorate. Oh, look at my craft. A lovely necklace that I have hidden the word of God in my heart. Okay, beautiful. So today we have learned that the Bible, just like food, we need to read it every day. We need to, uh, to, eat, uh, to read it every day. When we don't eat food, what happens to us? Oh, we get super hungry and then we feel weak. Or when you don't take water, you feel so thirsty. Just like the word of God, we need to read the Bible every day so that we don't, we don't, so that we don't know what God is telling us. When we don't read the Bible, we will not know what God is telling us. So we are going to learn a little song together so that we can learn and remind ourselves what is the Bible. You can sing after me. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes. Say with me. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes. That's the book for me. Okay. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes. That's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Okay, we repeat again. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Okay, one more time. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Now you've learned it, right? So let's sing together, okay? The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Yay, well done. Well done on learning the song. And let's remind ourselves then, the memory verse of the day. What is the memory verse of the day? The memory verse of the day is in our craft. And it says, I have hidden your word in my heart. I have hidden the word of God in my heart. Say it again with me. I have hidden the word of God in my heart. Again, I have hidden the word of God in my heart. One more time, we learn the song. 
There be I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. There be I B L E. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope that you're going to teach your brothers and sisters that song so that you can sing it together. Don't forget every day, just like the way we eat our food, just the way we eat our food, let's read the Bible. Okay, thank you, thank you so much for listening and let's remember we read the B-I-B-L-E. So let's put our hands together as we did when we started and pray. What do we do when we are praying? What do we do? We put our hands together and we sing the song. We are praying, we are praying. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Put your hands together, put your hands together. Let us pray. Let us pray. Dear Lord, say it after me. Dear Lord, thank you for teaching us that we need to read daily your word. Thank you for teaching us that we need to hide your word in our hearts. Help us, dear Lord, to read your word daily. Help us, Lord, to remember it daily. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you so much. Please, please, when you're done with your craft, remember to tell mommy to take a photo and send it to teacher Anne. And until next time, bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Joshua. Bye, Marcy. Bye.